First, I'd like to thank for inviting me to speak on this great scholar, Hassan Kafi Akisari. We call it Akisari. Uh, I keep hearing here Purushak, but uh, I, I will use Akisari. Um, we uh, should know that we are in, the, in front of a great scholar, uh, an uh, alim, uh, Bosnian, uh, Ottoman alim, uh, who uh, throughout his life um, uh, never stopped uh, studying and writing and teaching uh, traditional, uh, both traditional and rational sciences in madrasas, uh, both um, in, in various places in Bosnia. Uh, you, there are here experts who knows better than me, uh, and you you heard many times of his works. But uh, I, uh, in a nutshell, I uh, divided his writings based on uh, first uh, on his Nizam al Ulama, uh, early writings, middle writings, and then uh, post Nizam al Ulama works. So there are uh, his works can be divided into three areas. Uh, I will, um, if uh, it is working, is it working now? No? Um, I, I, will, I will show some of the manuscripts which I think very important uh, for the team of the, this conference because uh, uh, Istanbul uh, and Turkish libraries are uh, full of surprises for various reasons, but for Hasan Kafi Akhisari's works, uh, I uh, find out that uh, there are uh, a number of his works, uh, either uh, over, um, written by himself, by Hasan Kafi Akhisari. Uh, I discovered two of his writings, um, uh, actually, his hand, uh, with his handwriting. Is it working now? He uh, started uh, writing in 1983 uh, with his Risala Fi Tahqiq al Chelebi, and there are a number of uh, manuscripts of this work in Turkish libraries. And, uh, and then he wrote his Kafi Fil Mantik. Uh, and a partial commentary on uh, on Kafi. Uh, I haven't come across any uh, manuscript of uh, this. Oh, it's working, good. Uh, uh, I haven't come across uh, uh, any of um, uh, the manuscript of Sharh uh, uh, al-Kafi, which he, he speaks uh, in, uh, he, he records in his Nisam al-Ulama. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to present some of the important, oh, so you already know this, uh, this and you, you've seen uh, how I divided his writings into three uh, areas. And there are uh, in Turkish libraries some of the works which uh, seems not confirmed whether his works or not. Uh, for example, um, there, there are uh, the, uh, this, uh, the second one, the budget Sharhi Talkhis al Miftah. I haven't checked yet whether uh, it is his work or not. And there is another one which says that it, it, uh, the uh, catalogues are ascri ascribed to uh, Hassan Kafi Akhisari, Risale fi Ahwal al Qiyamah. I don't know whether uh, this is his or, or not because I haven't confirmed. And also the Diwan, which is uh, in, one, in one place in Turkish libraries, it's co it is uh, recorded in the catalog, but I haven't checked. Nasaih al Muluk or Tarjame Usul seems this is Tarjame Usul. Uh, Hikam, which I, I checked once in the, in the library, so it is not a different work. And uh, finally, Risale fi Ahwal Ahl al Hawa wal Bida. I don't know whether uh, this is also his work or not, uh, I haven't checked yet, but these are uh, already confirmed one, ones. So, uh, coming to the manuscripts, first, uh, his work on Usul al Faqh, Samt al Wusul, and it is Sharh, uh, Sharh Samt al Wusul. This is, you know, uh, an abridgment of uh, Mukhtasar al-Manar, and uh, Katib Chalabi uh, 
describes him as the best uh, abridgment of uh, Al Manar. Uh, and probably it was intended, like all of his works, as a textbook in the madrasa where he was re residing as a mudarris. Uh, in Turkish libraries, there are 20 copies of this uh, uh, Samt and it is Sharh. Six copies uh, uh, for the Metin, the Samt al Wusul, and 15 copies uh, for uh, the Sharh. This is one of the copies of the Sharh, which is, uh, I think, it's important. Why? Because uh, it is um, uh, copied from the uh, copy of the original Nuskhat al Mu'allif. So it says here, Mustansikham min al Nuskhat al Lati hiya surat Nuskhat al Musannif, which is uh, in uh, Ankara Milli Kutubane collection here now. It's a Samsung collection, but it's in Ankara. And another one in uh, Suleymaniya Library, this is also an important uh, text, I think, which is also, um, um, it is a compared text, the original, the, or, uh, it is compared with, oh sorry, here, yeah. It says, فَقُوبِلَتْ بِالنُّسْخَةِ الْمَعْزِيَّ لِلْمُصَنِّفْ بِمَحْضَرٍ مِّنْهُ So it is, uh, actually uh, a red uh, text in front of the uh, author himself that this this text it is in yazma bağışlar 1571 it is 1575 uh, so it is uh, all in in istanbul this one coming to the second uh, work ravdatul jannat fi usul al i'tiqad this is a really popular uh, work in Turkish libraries. You see uh, many copies. Actually, I found out around 50 copies of Raudat al Jannat fi usul al i'tiqat in uh, Turkish libraries. And uh, some uh, 15, 13 copies of it is Sharh. And there are other uh, commentaries written by. Uh, not the author himself, but others also wrote uh, commentaries. And I found out two of uh, these uh, commentaries. One is Kadizade Muhammad Isbiri. Um, uh, he uh, wrote, uh, you know already, uh, it's already mentioned uh, by the, some of the speakers that uh, this Raudatul uh, Jannat was very popular work and uh, some of the catalogers and some of the scholars thought that this is actually uh, belong to the famous Birgivi uh, Mehmed uh, Efendi and it is uh, published with his name in modern times with uh, this Raudatul Jannat but it is of course uh, it, uh, the Akisari's work. And uh, I recently found out uh, that uh, there is one uh, copy in Bayezid Devlet uh, collection, which is uh, pro most probably uh, an autograph copy. This is this one. Yeah, here it says, uh, so probably this is his handwriting. This Azhar Raudat actually. Azhar uh, Raudat fi Raudat al Jannat, the the Sharh uh, one. Uh, it is in Bayezid um, Tawlet uh, uh, co uh, Library Collection, and uh, of course. We know that uh, some uh, of the authors are, uh, or some of the um, uh, copiers are trying to fake whether it is Mu'allif uh, or not. And I think uh, it is 90% uh, uh, I'm sure that it is uh, the Mu'allif because there are notes, uh, marginal notes, you see here in, uh, that it says Minhu. Which means minhuat, which means it is 
by the author himself, he wrote marginal notes uh, uh, the, on the text. Okay, let's uh, move to another work. Here, Nizam al Ulama, this original uh, work, this is the, uh, quite interesting work, be because uh, he not only wrote his own life, his, his uh, an autobiographical account, but also he uh, wrote the, uh, a brief account of the lives of the 30 uh, people who are in the Ijazatname of uh, his own. And this uh, text is very original. And I think this is also, uh, we need to, uh, uh, we must see. And this is also, I think, his handwriting. As you, uh, yeah, it, it says here, yeah, Muallif Hazretlerinin kendi tercümeyi hali. No, sorry. So it is in the end. Yeah, again, uh, you see, Ketabahu Musannifuhu al-Fakir. So it is, again, his uh, autograph copy of the uh, uh, Nizam al-Ulama ila Khatam al-Anbiya. This work uh, actually is very important work. Uh, why we find in Istanbul libraries uh, of his autograph copies? Because uh, we know from his autobiographical account that he, every time he wrote something, he brought to the Istanbul and he presented to the Sultan or to the uh, high officers in the, in, the, in the court of the Sultan. So probably we will uh, find in the future all of his autograph copies in Istanbul or surrounding libraries. Um, uh, since my time is uh, uh, finished, so I will uh, uh, skip other, other uh, uh, parts of my presentation and say just a final word on the importance of why we should uh, actually, we must read the type of the scholars like Akhisari. As you know that, uh, from the TVs and from your environment, Islamic thinking and Islamic uh, Muslim uh, thought in the modern period uh, is really uh, is not going in the in the right direction because of uh, many of these uh, uh, hijacking by this uh, radical Salafism of uh, Islam's uh, uh, true and ideal ways, um, calling for uh, turning back to Quran and Sunnah uh, actually impoverished our intellectual thought. So uh, only by rising on the shoulders of the giants like uh, Hassan Kafi Akhisari and his teachers and by linking this great intellectual tradition, we can, uh, I think, produce more sound, sound and sophisticated uh, productions of Islam for uh, 21st century. Thank you for patience. <laughs>